Hello friends from 44F1, the Red Bull's dominance apparently has an expiration date. In 2026, Formula One will have a new engine regulation, and the rumors circulating behind the scenes are that the Red Bull engine in partnership with Ford is delayed, which has left the Austrian team quite concerned. After conducting tests in the team simulator, Verstappen raised a series of concerns regarding the implications of the plan changes and the engine regulations, which were agreed upon last year. He warned that the new rules will make overtaking more difficult, result in heavier cars, and even require drivers to downshift at the end of long straights to optimize performance. Verstappen also expressed his opinion that the new regulations will excessively emphasize the importance of power unit design compared to other aspects of the car. Red Bull's rival team, Mercedes, has already dismissed some of these concerns. The Mercedes team principal, Toto Wolff, accused Horner of spreading pessimism, refuted the claims that drivers will have to downshift on straights, and stated that Red Bull's comments reflect their unease with the state of their engine development program. The last time Formula One modified its engine rules was in 2014 when the current hybrid turbo V6 engine regulations were introduced. Mercedes dominated that season and the following two years, largely due to the performance of their power unit. Verstappen issued a warning that the new engine rules risk creating another situation where one team gains a significant advantage, thus increasing the costs involved. For me, the problem is that it seems like it's going to be a competition of internal combustion engines, as if whoever has the strongest engine will have a big advantage, Verstappen said. But I don't think that should be the intention of Formula One because then you'll start a massive development war again, and it will become very expensive to find probably a few horsepower here and there. I think it should actually be the opposite, Verstappen concluded. The two-time world champion said that his initial impression of the impact of the new rules is not positive. I've been discussing this with the team, and I've seen the data in the simulator as well. For me, it looks very terrible, he said. I mean, if you go straight on the Monza straight, I don't know what it is, like four or five hundred meters before the end of the straight, you have to downshift because it's faster. I don't think that's the way to go, but of course, probably that's one of the worst ways. Formula One intends to shift the balance of power generation in its next generation of engines so that the internal combustion engine and the electric systems contribute to about 50% of the total power. To achieve this balance without compromising the current performance levels, Formula One plans to implement active systems to reduce drag. However, Verstappen believes that these changes will make overtaking more challenging. He expressed the opinion that the active systems should be controlled by the drivers instead of being automatic. The cars probably have a lot less drag, so it will be even harder to overtake on the straight, he said. You have active aerodynamics, which you can't control, the system will control it for you. What I think makes it very difficult to drive, because I prefer to control it myself. Of course, when you're behind someone, maybe you need more front or more rear that kind of thing if the system starts controlling that for you i don't think it's the right way to go while the chassis regulations for 2026 have not been finalized yet it is expected that the new power units will be heavier formula one has been seeking to reverse a series of increases in the minimum weight limit over the past few decades and verstappen expresses concern that the new rules could further worsen this situation the weight is going up again, so we have to seriously look into that because 2026 is not that far away. Right now, for me, it looks very bad with all the numbers and what I already see in the data. So, it's not something that gets me very excited at the moment. And what about you? Do you believe Verstappen and Red Bull's concern is genuine, or do they just want to force a regulation change?